Hi, it's Faceless Tech. I think it's safe to say that we can call this the holiday season. We've had Halloween, the Americans have had Thanksgiving. You know, we're well on into the well on into Christmas uh, period. We've, um, you know, ev with the pandemic, everyone's gone a bit weird. Everyone's putting up their Christmas Christmas decorations early. I put mine up last weekend. I know, sacrilege. But um, this is a project that I've been working on. Um, well, thought of the idea probably back, back in August uh, when I was working with uh, LED strips. Um, I noticed that a lot of people said instead of just relying on the adhesive of LED strips is to make like a channel for them to uh, sit in um, so that you can slide them into because they do actually heat up and then they un unadhere themselves. Um, so I thought, oh, I, I've done flat strips channels um, and then I thought, well, how can I, can I actually do round ones? So I had to go at doing a few test pieces and they did actually work. So I thought, oh, this is quite a good idea. Um, I was using the board out of the um, tiny little glow stick I made you know, you know why you're making a new board, add everything you need, add a USB port, and add a uh, selector switch, uh, add a button to reset. So I just made a new case for it. But like this other case, I, I was, uh, it's pretty amateur hour with this one. I use screws for the side, but I figured out a way to use like a clip so you can clip it in and out. So with no screws, it is just 3D printed case. I need a little ring for it to go on the tree branch. And then um, I was thinking of how I could attach this so that it would clip into it, but I kind of just relying on uh, friction fit. Uh, it kind of worked. You're not really touching it, and you can easily quick they switch between them. I only really made it going to be this one. I was going to hardwire it in, but then I kind of, as everything I make, it kind of goes into a platform, and then I can make other add-ons for it. I stripped my um, sunglasses to make these, which are my... Um, so I took these rings, WS, oops, WS2812 rings, um, out of the glasses that I stripped to make them other glasses. So I basically wired these up. Luckily, they were 16 LEDs in each, so I could program this to be 16 LEDs uh, strip. So it kind of worked out. Uh, I'll give you a quick demo of what it actually looks like. Let's just wire it up. Turn the lights off. See a better light, that's, that's. There's three different modes. I've used the fast LED on this one, the fast um, LED library. And there you go, it's like a chase rainbow. And then I've got, uh, which one was it? Was this one? A twinkly mode. Nope, that's not the right one. This is the right one. they just kind of like twinkle on and off in different colors which is quite nice and then it's the same obviously for um for this one i did this as a uh, screw design oh no my power banks has gone off it's not working Oh, it's not, it's not, oh, there we go. And it just goes. I made this um, as a screw design, so it screws together as an enclosure. And also did it in the glow in the dark um, PLA, because it's also kind of like semi-transparent and it kind of like glows afterwards if you turn the lights out, which is quite nice. I just power coded it with this Christmas power code. And there you go, but also, the thing was, I was thinking, how am I going to power these? Obviously, this is powered by USB. You could just run a USB cable up the tree. The tree is powered by a power bank anyway because it's um, a fiber optic tree, which has the LEDs nicely hidden in the spine of the tree. Um, it was like a power... It had like a barrel jack wall wall connector, so I chopped that off and used converted it to like a USB cable. It ran off 5 volts anyway. Um, but also, because the tree comes, comes in two parts... Uh, for easy storage it kind of like connects by a barrel jack in the middle of the tree so i made a cable that has a male and female barrel jack on it so that just like splices in no modifications of the tree and then i've got two usb ports coming off this one that goes to the end of the tree branch that plugs this into and then this other one you think why is this so short it's for my uh, bauble that i made a, um, a while ago, 
it's just a Raspberry Pi that plays video and I've just got a USB cable so I can plug that in or you can make another bauble uh, to plug it in or plug anything else in you can even charge your phone from the tree which you know you want to do as a party trick you know be my guest but um yeah that's so it all kind of all come together and I just come to put the tree up and I just sneakily put this in the tree put this on the tree and didn't say anything and then took a while for anyone to notice it but um yeah it's worked out quite well in the end really um, I can also, if like, if during the Christmas period I decide to make a new bauble or make a different, uh, come up with a different design for this or whatever, I can just add, add on, make an add on for it, and it's uh, you know hunky dory. But yeah, as usual, there'll be design files for uh, both baubles um, and this uh, design files for this. The annoying thing is, I when I did make this board, the three headers here coming off had them stupidly really really close together so I've redesigned the board and I'll probably put that in there which got um, I took away the big ground plane and I spaced these out so you can easily solder these on because otherwise they're a pain in the arse to uh, attach to but yeah this is just a 20 um, an 80 tiny 85 which is quite nice makes it really nice and cheap and small so yeah as usual uh, thanks for watching bye